Hey guys, welcome back to Backcountry Life. We have an amazing surprise for you right here. Stay tuned. Logan, so what are we doing? Well, uh, we finished selling my bike and uh, the cash was burning a hole in my pocket. So we went and got a bike and it's not orange. guys we're gonna do a big reveal here and Logan we're gonna get the ramp and pull it out yeah. all right for the big reveal here it is guys what is it Logan this is the 2018 Yamaha YZ 250X with Two point eight hours on it. Two, <laughs> two hours. hours. Two hours. She's brand new. She's brand new. She's coming out of the truck. So we're gonna get it in and do the full story of what happened and why this is bike that we picked up. And everything. So. Oh my gosh, I can't, I'm so excited. I can't tell you how excited. Guys, this is like my one of my most favorite bikes in the entire world. It is such a rad bike. So this is one of our most favorite dirt bikes that we've ever ridden. We've ridden, uh, I think it was a 2017 or 16? Yeah, you rode, the, you rode the 17. Uh, 250X and oh man, it was a fun bike to ride. It was a really cool bike. So. We wanted to do something different than just getting a standard orange or white bike. And so, you know, because we already have a lot of experience in that. And so this is something to give us a whole nother flavor. Obviously, you know, it's a 252 stroke. And so it, it's kind of similar to what we already have. But we loved so much that we were not quite ready to venture into some completely different, like maybe a four stroke or something like that. And so we're really excited. And so Logan, what are some of the mods that we're gonna to do to this bad boy? What are we gonna to do to this? Well, to start, we'll, we'll just start from top to bottom. <laughs> we'll go from there. Um, the previous owner threw on the full wrap hand guards, which we will remove right away. And why is that? Um, we like fingers, and uh, I've already broken one finger because of full wraps, so we're gonna, we're gonna pull the full wraps off right away. I'd rather ride without Flat, without just anything, personal preference. just personal preference, but uh, just letting you know, they already, um, again, previous owner already put an hour meter on, yeah. so awesome, appreciate that. Uh, moving down, there's really not too much more, the skid plate's already on there, already got a skid plate, um, and then we get down to the tires, and because, oh, and they've already, they already added the FMF uh, turbine core 2.1? Yeah, 2.1, and that has a spark arrestor in it, so that's a sports service uh, proof, which is awesome. So that's already there, we don't have to replace that. Love that. Um, and then it comes down to the tires, and uh, as far as the tires go, I think we're going to leave the rubber, but we are going to throw tubeless on, both front and back. I don't understand running one and not the other, because then you're carrying both a patch kit and a plug kit. I don't under, I don't get that concept, I but mean, again, I just... I don't understand the argument for that either because essentially you can pump that up to 10 or 15 pounds with you would do with the heavy duty tube with regardless. So to me, it's, yeah, I'm with you. We're getting, tubeless, Front and back. Yeah, tubeless is a must have. Like that's usually one of the first things that we will do is put tubeless on there. These bikes <laughs> don't need a lot to be awesome. So. It's already it's rideable. Yeah, right now. <laughs> Coming out of the box, it's a really really fun bike. Now, um, the the gentleman that we bought it from claims that he did some jetting to it. We don't It'll, know. Yeah. See. We we got to get out and warm it up and ride it. Possibly put electron. Still not convinced one way or another. I think I think we ought to ride it. The cool thing with this is in 2016 or 17, I can't remember what uh, year. 
they actually put bigger brakes on this bike versus the over So it has oversized uh, brake rotors, which is nice. It has nice wide foot pegs as well. And you know, if you don't aren't familiar with the X model, the YZ250, it has you know, a, a pipe that's a little bit uh, closer to the, the bike, so tucked in. tucked in, and then it has a wide ratio five speed as well, gearbox. And an 18 inch rear wheel, plus a kickstand. So it's pretty capable off-road. We already know it is because we've ridden it. So this is going to be a really, really fun bike to ride. Really, the only thing it's missing that we're not going to add is the magic button, the e-start. <laughs> but that's fine. It's got, it's got a kick, and that's... Honestly, I'd prefer to have a kick and no e-start than e-start and no kick. I agree. And one of the things that we loved about like, like a, as a two-stroke guy, is the simplicity of a two-stroke, right? That's kind of what makes it a little bit uh, easier to work on and, and just the function, it starts easy regardless if it's cold, hot, or whatever. You don't have to worry about it as much. Just, and, you know, we'll see if we really miss the magic button or not. Honestly, like, I always joke that my first KTM was a 2008 250 XCW. And it had an electric start. Well, the battery died, and I kicked it anyway. <laughs> and I just kicked it, uh, and partly because that's what I was already used to from the other former bikes I had. But it, I, I don't know. It's you know, there. We'll see. Like I said, we'll see if it's really a big deal to us or not. So. So guys, one of the other things we want to talk about real quick is just some of the things we love about this bike. And um, the first one for me is just the sheer beauty of this bike i i do like the orange bikes but the blue rims uh the blue on white and black the the color scheme they went with is just really good looking this is it's in the black pipe awesome choice there i think i'm i'm, I'm really excited like it's a, it's a show bike right now like it, it looks it it's looks a like a bike. yeah it's a really cool looking bike and yamaha makes quality uh dirt bikes it's a it, you know, when you had your 150, you, we were talking about, like we mentioned a little early, like, what bike should we get? We went through all these different scenarios, and, and you know, we wanted to stay with a, with, we even talked about four strokes, and kind of like, ah, maybe get a 250, uh, you know, XC, or, you know, like a Yamaha version of that, which is their X, or the Honda version, which is the RX and 250 as well. And just kind of talked about like, well, what should we do that? Cause it's a totally different bike. And you know, it'd be a little bit more power than the 150, you know, and it'd be a little bit more torque through the whole power band. And, but we just couldn't get away from the two strokes. Uh, and the other thing is with the beta though, it was like the beta is more of like a hardcore, like almost like an XCW, at least the ones that we've ridden. We haven't ridden them all, so. The Rays, yeah. The ones that we've ridden, they were, they're, and they're fantastic. We have nothing against them. They're just more of like the hard enduro trail, extreme trail bikes, right? Which, obviously there's a place for that. But we have ride such a diverse mix, and we can't have, you know, a whole bunch of bikes. Uh, Special, bikes, yeah. You know, and we want to, and hopefully one day we'll get there. But for now, it's like we have such a, and like right now, we're spending so much time out in the desert, which is fast and flowy and big whoops. And, you know, in Logan's riding style, we're finding out it's kind of more of the fast, flowy jumps and just the playfulness of the kind of, you know, or more at home on a bike like this versus like a hardcore XCW or Beta. So that was part of the reason why we, we chose this bike. Well, yeah, I mean, when I sat down on it, the first thing I did was took it down the street, and in the first three gears, every gear I lost at the tire. It was up, and then down, and then back up, and then down and back up. I mean, it was, it was so playful, so light on the front, smooth through the gears, no surprises, didn't feel like there was, it, 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 it wanted to shift right when it felt like it should. Like there was no, I mean, just smooth, smooth transition. Transition. Thing is, is when he came back from his smile, <laughs> I knew we were, we were going to. It was going to be right here, yeah, right like now. It, 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 and that's the great thing. The bike holds us. But a couple things about the YZ, you know, they haven't made any major changes since, since like 2006. Now they did upgrade to aluminum frame, you know, and you know, put better brakes and a few little parts here and there. And so it, it is a better bike than it 
2006 or something like that. But it really is good. You know, the front forks from Yamaha arguably is the best front fork of any stock dirt bike. It is really the, the front's good. amazing. It's, it's just, it's just it, in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and so we're excited to see how that is as well. And um, the other thing is, is the, the motor doesn't produce as much horsepower as the KTMs. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Because, like, for example, with my, my 2018 250XC, I have a high compression head from RK Tech as well, and it really rips your arms off. Well, uh, that can be... Is, it, is it, yeah, well. what, like, is, yeah. Do, we, do I, being just a normal, you know, dude riding dirt bikes, do I really need that power? Yeah, obviously we love power and it's fun, but this still has plenty of power, and if we wanted to, you know, we could do different reads, you know, put a full exhaust system, and I think we could really liven it up as well. But it doesn't need that. Riding it out of the box is plenty of power, plenty of torque. We're excited to see what it does in a tight single track. And, out, you know, it, just like the XE models in the KTM uh, world, they're more, these guys bikes are obviously more geared to the, the fast, flowy, uh, kind of more desert, cross-country type riding, right? But we ride it in the hardcore single track too and we love like the gearing so we're excited to see how it does yeah absolutely thrilled excited ecstatic smile on my face been been thinking about this ever since we went and rode it i mean it looked good in the pictures but we went and i i was afraid almost every night that it was going to get sold out from under us because i was just so excited to go get it and when we say like it literally looks like we just took it off the show on the floor it had two hours, 2.8 or whatever, but it looks brand it, it, new. It, it, and it feels brand new. I yeah. mean, it is. I mean, it's, yeah. The guy that had it made a mistake. He, won't, was, he should have bought an ATV instead. Uh, and so I think it was a bit too, too much for what he wanted to do. So it worked out in our favor. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. Like this video. And if you have any comments, let us know what bikes you ride and let us know if you have any suggestions in the comments below.